Hello and welcome to BA 104 Business Math. This is an introduction video to help you understand the requirements of the course and how to get started. So let's begin. This is, this is the, uh, the website for uh, or the Blackboard site for BA 104. Uh, on the Blackboard site, the first thing that you're going to see is the Start Here page. On the Start Here page, obviously there's this video. You're probably watching it right now. You found it. Great. Uh, another thing on the Start Here page is going to be the Welcome Announcement. So the Welcome Announcement has several things that are important for you to get started in this course. Uh, the first thing is going to be uh, a description of the text that's required for this class. There's actually a custom textbook that's available in the TVCC bookstore. Uh, with this custom textbook you will receive a McGraw-Hill Connect uh, access code. So McGraw-Hill McGraw Connect is uh, a tool that we use for the class, especially for the online class, also for the live class, depends on which one you're taking. We use it for both. And what it allows you to do, it is it allows you to have access to uh, materials and all the homework problems and the exams uh, so you can get real-time feedback for how you're doing in the in the course with a concept. Okay, so, so McGraw-Hill Connect there is a uh, once once you get the textbook with the ac with the access code. There's a link on the welcome announcement. Okay, so this link is going to allow you to go to the registration page, put your information in, create an account, and then uh, put your access code in, which will allow you then to have access to all of the homework assignments and everything that you'll need for the course that's connected through Blackboard. So uh, there's also a link that says click here for video link. It's a link that shows you how to go through that process. If you just want to, to view that first, it'll, it may help you out. So there's, there's also uh, a couple links to the syllabus and the, and the course schedule that are on here as well. Um, and we'll talk about those here in a minute. There's this orange link down at the bottom. That's going to be your first assignment for this course. So as you get going with this course, do the introduction for class participation right off the bat. That's actually a discussion on the discussion uh, board. You're going to answer these questions that are listed here. And um, you're also going to uh, create actually in order to answer the question you have to create a thread right so you're gonna create a thread you're gonna click on the create thread button which will create a thread for you and then you're gonna answer these questions sometimes it's you can just copy and paste these questions down into the uh, box there and go ahead and answer them straight out it makes it easier whatever you want to do uh, get that done and then I'll be able to uh, mark you as participating in the class which is helpful for financial aid and student service um, functions of the college to make sure you're participating it also helps me get to know you a little bit right off the beginning uh, right off the get-go and then you can also read your classmates uh, posts as well and get to know them and we can collaborate and work together on the course so let's go ahead and look at the course syllabus. There's a link here to the left on the Blackboard uh, site. So the course syllabus is, is that that, that uh, button's linked out to the course syllabus. It lets you know uh, what my contact tact information is, what my number is here for the office. Uh, you can get me on that anytime. Also my email, uh, feel free to send an email. Uh, if you have any questions or call me. Uh, I also have office hours where I'm going to be in this office for sure, you know, 100% certain. There's also an option for, <clears throat> for this class to be able to schedule a virtual office appointment. Okay, and we'll talk about that here later. There's a link on the, the Blackboard site where you can, uh, you, you can email me or call me 
uh, get a virtual appointment set and then go in through the Blackboard site and we can meet virtually online. Uh, uh, the course syllabus also has all the other information that usually a syllabus has. Uh, it has information about the grading. So in this class we're going to have two exams, a midterm and a final. <clears throat> There's problem sets you're going to do weekly. There's uh, an assignment called the Learn Smart Reading. You're going to do that weekly as well as qui weekly quizzes. Okay. Um, so and then there all other information that you may need there. There's a brief term schedule on the syllabus. The the full term schedule that's in more detail is actually on uh, the link here to the left on the Blackboard course. It's called Course Schedule. Click on that. It brings up uh, a link to an Excel sheet, which is our course. Uh, schedule lets you know the chapters we're going to be covering each week. This is a quick update for business math. So with current the current term fall 2017 and onward, business math is now set up to do all assignments as prerequisites to each other. So you can't begin an assignment or an exam unless all the prerequisites are completed for that assignment. The assignments by chapter are going to be in this order. So first, the Learn Smart assignment needs to be done for each chapter. After that, the assignment needs to be done. After that, the quiz needs to be completed. So these three assignments are for each chapter. After all the chapters for a specific exam are completed, then you may sit and take that exam. Okay. So one thing to note, exam one can be retaken, right? So you have three opportunities to take exam one and, and all the exams, okay? Or the midterm, I should say, and the final. So there's, exam one is the midterm, exam two is the final. You have three opportunities to take each one. You don't necessarily need to wait to com to continue the chapters after you do the midterm. You can take the midterm exam, go ahead and continue if you would like on to future chapters for the final and come back and take the midterm later. So just because you continue on after the midterm, whatever grade you get, doesn't mean that you can't come back and take the midterm again or any of the other uh, assignments for that matter. So the assignments as well, you can retake those or the quizzes. Uh, so uh, you need to get at least a C in all of the assignments to allow you to continue on and do the next assignment or the next quiz or the exam. Uh, the examinations, you don't have to get that C to the continue on with the course. So the midterm exam doesn't have to be a C to continue on with the second half of the term. Hopefully it will be because all of the stuff before that to prep for the midterm exam, you got at least a C on. So anyways, if you have any questions on this, feel free to contact me and, and via email, phone, come into my office and we'll talk about it. Thank you. Let's see. With the course schedule, the and there's also a link for the exams here. So you uh, need to contact uh, so with all the exams the midterm and the final you need to take those in a TVCC testing center which is Ontario Caldwell or in Burns or you need to get take it with an approved proctor the approved proctor is um, the, the proctor that you want to use say you want to go to the library or you have maybe a teach another teacher at a school or wherever you can get get that proctor approved through the TVCC testing center and and on the uh, exams uh, section of Blackboard, there is going to be a link where you can uh, contact the TVCC testing center. The TVCC testing center is uh, there's a link available on the main TVCC website as well. Contact them um, and then get your proctor set up for that midterm and for the final. So that's kind of the process you need to go through for that. And then there's these other links here. So there's course management, communication, and virtual office. Virtual office is what I talked to you about before. You can schedule with me a time to meet virtually over the computer. Uh, we'll be able to 
you know, see each other, share a whiteboard, and work through problems together. Um, we can do it with audio on your computer, or we can uh, do it over the phone and and on the computer. So we can do a combination of each, depending on the technology you have available, and help you out. So that's virtual office. Course management and, and communication. Let's go into course management here real quick. You can view your grades as you as you go on with the course. So as you complete assignments through the uh, McGraw-Hill Connect, um, they'll be updated. Uh, typically, the assignments with McGraw-Hill Connect will update uh, within a day, at least. If you don't see your assignments you've completed updating in your grades, uh, let me know and I can manually push them across if they need to. Uh, they should op update automatically, but uh, uh, if there is an issue, let me know. There's also a link here to McGraw-Hill. There's an, uh, an actual page you can log into and view your entire assignment sets and quizzes and all that good stuff at McGraw-Hill side of things. Uh, you don't necessarily need to log in separately to that website. It's all linked through Blackboard. And then here's communication. It gives you my information here on uh, the instructor side of things and then there's also email so you can actually communicate back and forth with uh, your fellow students or me if you want to email me through the blackboard site that's fine as well so uh, this is going to be a fun term uh, hopefully you uh, got something out of that video and if you have any questions feel free to send me an email or uh, give me a call or come into my office and we'll talk to you later have a good day